So we've made it to spring. Um, a lot of people are pulling out their bikes now for the first time and it's always good to check over your bike before the first ride of the season and for that matter every single ride. So something we like to talk about are, is the ABCs of cycling and that stands for air, brakes, and chain. And those are the three areas of the bike that you should check prior to every ride and probably a little bit more thorough for your first ride of the season. So air sounds pretty simple and it is. It's really just the air in your tires to make sure that they're properly inflated. Um, something else that we recommend that you do is that you actually inspect the tire to make sure that it's okay. Give it a spin up on here and look at the tread pattern to see if you see any cuts or gouges or anything like that. And then inspect the sidewalls of the tire to see if there's any damage there. And you want to check, of course, both the front and the rear of the bike. Uh, a properly inflated tire is going to be your number one prevention to getting a flat when you're going on a bike ride. Nobody likes a flat, so take a few minutes and check your air pressure. On the side of each tire, every tire made, there is a range of pressures that you want to inflate the tire. So you just look at the sidewall of the tire and look at that range. You don't have to go to the top. You can be a little bit playful with your tire pressure. Uh, softer tire pressure will give you more comfort uh, during your ride. So maybe uh, start near the top and kind of work your way down over time. That's why people get flats is if you ride too low of a tire pressure. Um, when checking your tires, you also want to use a gauge or a gauge on a floor pump. Uh, using your hands and squeezing the tire, that's not a tire gauge. Uh, you'll never get the accurate pressure. So a great tool to own is a floor pump and check your tire before every single ride. It's going to be your ticket to hopefully flat free riding. Part two is brakes. Brakes are super important because we want to be able to stop safely and soundly and have confidence that our brake systems are going to work. So one thing to do is kind of going back to that air, spin your wheels, make sure that your brakes aren't rubbing the rim here uh, so that the wheel is spinning smoothly and the brakes there. Then you want to check the brake wear itself. Um, you're going to want to open up the brake and look at the pad and make sure that there's no metal or anything showing that you have a lot of pad life left. So that gives you a good, safe, sound braking surface. Um, also, you can check the rim as well to make sure there's no damage to the rim and the brakes have that. The other thing you want to do is you want to squeeze the brake lever and make sure that you get contact with the brakes against the rims prior to the brake lever touching the handlebars, preferably a lot sooner than that. Um, and this is a good test for all rim brake bikes that you see here. Disc brake bikes are becoming a lot more popular. They're really becoming the standard. So you want to check the condition of the rotor there that when you spin the rotor, which is what the brake pad is rubbing on, that it's not wobbling or rubbing against there, that it's running smoothly. If you have a challenge with the, uh, the brake pads, uh, the disc brakes, you know, or even your rim brakes, you're always welcome to come into us and we'll take a look at them for you. Uh, we'll show you how to check them and uh, give you some recommendations if needed. Um, the disc brake pads can be pulled out. It's a pretty easy process, uh, but if you haven't learned how to do that, I would recommend coming by and checking that. So checking those brakes, um, of course, is super critical for every ride. Uh, you want to check the front and the back. And then if you're a parent with young kids or children at all, you also want to be performing this check with your kids' bicycles as well. And now we're going to talk about the chain. So the chain really covers, as a third component, not only the chain, which is the important part of your drivetrain, but it also covers the gears. So it kind of gets lumped in so that we can have a neat slogan called the ABCs of cycling. And it's much easier for us to remember that. So first of all, one of the things that we see all the time is that chains are not properly lubricated and you want to lubricate your chain. Um, we can show you how to do that and we're actually going to do another video about chain lubrication, but uh, a well lubricated and clean drivetrain is going to give you better performance and longer le longevity on your, your bike riding. So you want to make sure that your chain is properly lubed. It doesn't need to be gooped and you want to use a bicycle lube. Uh, WD-40 is a no-no. It is collects dirt and mud and, and just gets messy. So no WD-40, 
no three-in-one oil. I know that's what's sitting under your shelf in your garage, uh, but resi resist that urge and uh, spend a few bucks on getting that proper bike lube. Then the other thing that you want to do is to check to make sure that your gears are working. Uh, if you don't have a stand like you see here, just pick up the back of the bike off the ground, grab those pedals, and you want to take them for a little spin. That's the system right there. That's part three of chain is making sure it's not damaged, it's not kinked or anything like that, and that your gears work properly. So once you check all those components, you'll be ready for your ride. So if you have any questions, please come by and any of us would be more than happy to help provide you some education about your bike specifically so you can do the ABCs of cycling before every single ride. Thank you so much for tuning in and we'll see you soon.